Why? Go! It's me, Mario! Hello! Alright, this is 16 star. Um, with LBLJ. So, we'll be going straight to Dark World, the first Bowser level. Uh, and to do that, we have to p pull off a pretty difficult trick. Um, Hopefully I'll get it first try. If not, it, I lose like maybe 5 to 10 seconds depending on where I end up. Hopefully the run shouldn't take more than like, two, uh, like 22 minutes. Anything over that would be kind of slow. This trick's called Lagatu Skip. I missed it a lot, so hopefully we get it. Yeah. That sucks. That's like an 8 second time loss or something like that. Most people reset on that. Uh, if you do miss it. Because it is such a short run. Uh, 8 seconds really adds up a lot. It's right at the beginning, too. Yeah, it's so right at the beginning, too. Not reset. Yeah. Grab a chair. I was gonna say grab a chair. We can both do it. No. Like physics wise. Is it on? Yeah. All right. So uh, BLJ's work because Mario has an infinite cap on his backwards momentum and speed. Uh, whereas for momentum, they actually do cap it. So by long jumping backwards and hitting certain edges and constantly moving backwards while staying around the same frame, you can build up speed, and once you let that go, you will send Mario flying. And so that's how he manages to clip through the walls, and then with all that speed, he just kind of smacks against the walls anytime he changes Mario's position slightly. Uh, that's kind of just how all the LJs work. The other two are a lot easier because let's just go through doors, this goes through a wall, and then you have to actually like change the camera angles so that Mario doesn't fly into oblivion. And uh, right here's going for the red coin star, because it's the first one you go through. Oh, uh, I don't like to let you up there, but it's kind of hard to get the height off a single jump. Alright, so that's star number one out of 15, kind 16. of. Well, oh, 16, but the 16th one's kind of forced. Yeah, in a way. Yeah. So, yeah, there's three Bowser levels and there's 16 stars. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh my god. So, basically, <laughs> it, it's Bowser in the Dark World with the star. It goes on to Womp's Fortress, yeah? Yeah. Uh, three or four stars there. We'll be getting three stars at Womp's Fortress. Three stars at Womp's Fortress, and then I believe you go straight to the basement? Yep. Yep, uh, so into the... Lethal Lava Land, right? Yep, so the, the only level we're doing in the main, on like the first floor, is Womp's Fortress. And in Lethal Lava Land, you have six or seven? Five. Oh, just five? Okay. Just five, yeah. This is a lot for 16 stars, right? Yeah, right? yeah five <laughs> stars there, and then Hazy Maze Cave, you do two or three. So the, the reason we jump back into the level and then exit is because we didn't unlock the door to get in. So you can't leave without uh, getting into a level and then exiting. That's a very important detail. That's why you'll see him exiting a lot. Yeah, I'll do that one Bowser more time uh, at the second Bowser level. So there's three stars here. The first one I'm going to do is called Cannonless. Uh, it just requires a very... a pretty simple setup, but it's kind of easy to mess up. Hopefully I get it. There you go. Yeah, you got it. Woo! Nice. <laughs> 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 so the next one is Owlus. It's a little bit harder, but um, Owlus is really pretty confident with it. So we'll see how it goes. 
Oh, it's here too. Oh, okay. cool. Oh, I, I didn't. I'm ghost. I didn't. I'm ghost. The last star is really easy. Probably the easiest star in 16 star. You just run up and grab it basically. It's also the ultimate cannonless. Yeah, if you miss Cannonless, it's faster just to get that star and then try Cannonless again. Rather than going back and trying Cannonless right away. So now we're going downstairs and we're basically spending most of the run down here. The first level we're going to, sorry, isn't Lethal Lava Land, it's actually uh, SSL or Shipping Sand Land. And oh, yeah. We're only getting two stars there and I won't be doing Pillarless because I cannot do Pillarless. Doing the uh, Pyramid Star and Bird? Yeah, exactly. So, which one are you doing first? Uh, probably Pyramid Star. So Pyramid Star is a simple triple jump over a hill, or sometimes people grab the box. Uh, yeah, so that hill right there, then you just slide onto it, you do and then you just... It's pretty simple. I was kind of slow, but... And the next is. one is climbing up a pillar, and I believe diving into Klepto, the... I don't know. He looks like a vulture, but apparently it's Klepto the Condor. <laughs> um, so yeah, here he's gonna be doing a similar wow. method to get across. Uh, I have to kill myself now. I accidentally hit Z, and this trick requires you to be on a cycle. So, um, I've wasted the time, so I missed the cycle. Uh, so I just have to restart it. That's unfortunate, it's whatever though. Same. Similar method to get across here, he's gonna go up. Dives right in. Klepto, and then he dives onto the pier. Uh, I've... Oh no, you just heli over. Yeah, you just long jump and grab it. Ah, I missed it though. <laughs> um, that's shifting sand. Yeah, that sucked. Uh, it's unfortunate that I could be there. That star looks kind of difficult, but it's one of the easier stars in 16. I think at least. But it is a flashy star. Now for the funnest world ever. Yeah, this level's actually like it. Uh, this is probably the hardest trick, I think, on LOL. You like the it. log skip, or? Yeah. Oh, boy. So log skip involves, yeah. Yeah. Similar it's trick to the cannons. Or, or not, not cannons, Owl. Yeah. Uh, ball kick off the cage. Sir. I myself am not that good Sweet. at it. So I, I just usually do the log. I log. Yeah. Just in so time. That, and then... What's your next turn? Um, I'm gonna do probably the little bullies. Okay, so that's Bully the Bullies, I believe, right? Yeah. And uh, so you just knock out three little dudes, and then a giant dude comes in, and then you gotta punch him off, too. This one's really easy to mess up. Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh... You don't have to do this star. Like, if I was doing Pillarless and SSL, I wouldn't have to do this star. I almost just got knocked in the hole. Yeah, Pillarless is uh, clipping through the top of the yeah. pyramid to fall into uh, the hand fight. Right? That's what it is? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, it's the level stand atop the four pillars. Yep. Uh, this star does take a long time. Pillarless does save a significant amount of time over this star. Especially if you miss a kick on him. Yeah, which it, always happens this way. It's really bad. You can lose like 20 to 30 seconds per kick, depending on where you're placed on the platform if you fall the lava from it. So, yeah, just gonna do the regular bully now. Alright. That's fine if that happens too, right there. Only lose like yeah, a yeah. second or two. Now, now he's just gonna fight the same guy we just talked about. So there's two more stars. Uh, one of them is in the volcano. Tech crew thinks they're hilarious. And the other one is the red coin. <laughs> We're gonna do the volcano star first. Yeah. Because it's harder. I like to do harder stars first. Or at least the ones that I'm le least comfortable with. Uh, the volcano star. Okay, yeah. Uh, which one of the two? Uh, the not lava boost. Okay. And 
Yeah, this, one, this one's just kind of platforming up the I can just put it this <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> well, you were sleeping, so... Oh, no. Uh, 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 the again. fun thing about I the lava land anything. is if you die inside the volcano, you come back inside yeah. the volcano. So it's not a huge thing. There's not much to say. Show off our selection of nutritious drinks. <laughs> I just missed the jump dive, so I fell off and died. Fortunate. Choose wisely. Yeah, so then the other star, which you saw like briefly on the other side, that one I believe is when you use lava boost to go up a wall. Yep. It's pretty difficult, uh, but. Yeah, because basically you're, you're, you're hitting Mario's hitbox on the side so that he goes upward. So he'll go in whatever direction he's facing, but it's really hard to. This is the easiest one, which most people uh, start with the Lava Land with. Probably, truly the easiest start in the game. Possibly, yeah. yeah. I just messed it up though, of course. It's just... <laughs> it's really easy. So, we're gonna go to HMC. There's three stars there and a Toad Star. Uh... Sorry, uh... I'm gonna go for Triple Box Jump. Just once though. Nice! Uh... Don't be worried! <laughs> <laughs> Because it's not a huge time loss unless you like die or something if you miss it, so might as well go for it. I'm gonna go for it first. This is a pretty precise trick. It looks kind of easy, but it's deceptively difficult. Oh, he got it. Oh. Oh. That was pretty close, kind of. But... If you could actually just long jump from there. But I get one of them. Yeah, you... Actually, it's from up there that you can get this one right here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You can like wall jump over the wall, or wall kick over Like four seconds faster, right? Yeah. But uh, I've, I haven't bothered to learn it just because I've been trying to get that triple box jump, which is even faster. Let's get 12 stars and we talk to Tony and he just says, Here's a star, Mario! <laughs> okay! <laughs> wow, Mario, thanks for the star! Yeah, that's the only Toad Star we get in this run, fortunately. I think like the next one's like 18 or something. I don't even know. Uh, so now, doing the older one. Uh, I'm gonna go get this one. Okay, yeah, so this one. Is... Oh, the rocks one. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, I messed up. Yeah, so he just like wall kicks right oh. about here too. I like to do a triple jump wall kick there, but I messed up my movement, so I kind of had to just do a back up. That one's also fairly simple. Yeah, it's one of the easier stars. One's pretty easy too. Uh, you can do a little more precise movement like I'm gonna do here. That makes it a little bit more difficult, but not really still. It's still pretty easy stuff. So. See the uh, one right here? Yeah. This is where you saw the box earlier. It's nice to start. I think you're supposed to do the uh, platforming section with like all the random things. Yeah. We're just saying something. That's 15, so now he's on to MIPS. Yep. Which is everyone's least favorite rabbit in all of creation. Until you learn strats for catching MIPS, then it's fantastic. Yeah, then it's actually really easy. Everyone's childhood, <laughs> it's like the worst. <laughs> yeah. Everyone played this game in their childhood. MIPS is the worst. Huh? Yeah, it's about to just like. Okay, I got that first try. Okay, your finger clip kept telling me to go to the other side of the So, <laughs> the reason you need the bunny is to get through this door, which normally you need 30 stars to get through. Um, that trick's kind of finicky. I'm happy I got a first try. Yeah, so now he's gotta do board Bowser sub because it's a mandatory one, so it'll move all backward. Yeah. Right now the loading zone of this level is blocking the entrance to the second Bowser level. So... And in order to move the loading zone, you have to get this star. Which is why the run is 16 star and not 15. It's also why zero star is sometimes one star and it's still okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The separate categories though. Yeah, the separate categories because of this. Depending on the momentum you get off that one BLJ, you'll either make it through or you won't. That's a really decides which one you're doing. <laughs> it adds like a solid minute and a half, I think. Cool. I missed the sub during practice. I'm not yeah, you're yeah. so logic. And you said. I'm pretty happy. Cool. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we just gotta do Fire C, and then you really had your we gotta do. Yeah. So Not over yet. All we have left is the two Bowser levels. Yep. Um, 
This one typically doesn't go terribly wrong unless you fall off at the end, which happens sometimes. Oh my lag. Yeah, there's a lot of lag, and if I was better, I would have really good lag reduction. Yeah, this is the laggiest level in the game, except for Rainbow Rain, I think. So I'll, I'll be doing some lag reduction, but not a lot. So right around here, happens. Go! Go, it's one floor up. Yeah, it's the next floor all the it happens then. So you can actually make, so this is on a cycle of course, uh, if you're quick enough and you do the right movement, you can make an early cycle which saves like 10 seconds. Here's where the fun happens, where he rides the wall edge. Yeah, if you mess this up, it kind of sucks. Oof, you can really screw it, yourself it up. It's not, it's not too difficult though. Yeah, cool thing. Starts off with always tilting the edge. Kind of sets you up to go right behind him pretty fast. Uh, for the first two Bowser fights, it's only one hit, but for the third one, it's three. Yeah. yeah three hits. My Bowser throws have been really bad lately, so prepare for <laughs> some choke yeah, The third I think Bowser. Missed a couple times in practice, right? Yeah. Now for the fun part of the run that when I first tried doing this, it took me a uh, solid two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, this could go perfectly or this could go absolutely horrible. And this is why the estimate can usually be high when you see this at uh, GDQ. So I think the last time they made an estimate for this it was an hour. Yeah, that's uh... For the uh, for the zero one star race it was an hour. It's very, very generous. <laughs> yeah. It's like a seven minute run or ten minutes rather. For the people. zero one star though. Alright, so this isn't random actually. There are ways to do this. Uh, it's not RNG. So, but after the first stare, it may as well be RNG. So the goal, I believe, at least for my strategy, I try and clip the very first stare. Uh, you can still make it through there. Yeah, yeah. Nice. and uh, once you clip the first, like the first stare is the easiest to clip for some reason. Uh, yeah. And there's something about the first stare as well that if you miss the clip, it sometimes hits on the second. Yeah, it's really weird with the first uh, staircase though, because it's just... You can miss the door, but for like a couple seconds you can still like actually go through the door. Or like if you like stop at the door, you still have like a half a second where like if you hit like one more time, you can actually... Alright, so I'm gonna do a trick here at the top of the level. Hold on. Uh, jump there. Yeah, uh, called triple jump walk kick, and there's a fast way of doing it and there's a slow way of doing it. I'll be doing the slow way because I can't do the fast way. Um, hopefully I get it first try. It's, yeah, right here is the it's like moderately it's difficult, difficult, so... Oh, Oof. that sucks. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit of a time lapse. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it one more time. Yeah, at least Actually, fall, like, all the way down. I'm just gonna keep doing it until I get it. Uh, this trick is a real run killer for me at times. <laughs> no! Alright. Yeah, if you had fallen like a few yeah. pixels to the like... Yeah, if you fall off, you can kill yourself with this. You can lose a ton of time just falling there. No! <laughs> So the fact that's happened four times, it's not too too bad actually. Uh, considering he only fell on the platform right below. I just do the uh, jump dive method. Yeah. It's it's moderately safe. There we go. Ooh, nice. got it. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, last. Right here, just go right in the pipe, and here we go. Yeah, so this is Bowser throws. There's not much to say about it. <laughs> no, actually. Oh. We're, we got all It is technically a star, I guess, that you grab. Technically yeah. it's a star. Yeah. But it's also pretty yeah. speech for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> but like, when you touch that last You thought it was a oh. star. I already missed the throw. Yeah, so Bowser here, after two stages, he will destroy the field around you and make it into a star pattern. Uh, making it so it's really, really, really hard to uh, throw them into the balls. But if you get them fast enough into all three uh, bombs, then it really won't matter much. That was fairly good.
Yeah, I know. I was pretty lucky. Oh. Shit. Nah, I'm brutal at Bowser throws. So now uh, Bowser's gonna destroy like the field. It's the second or third throw? No, it's it's after you break the second bomb. It's okay. yeah, second. Yeah, no, I'm saying I'm done second. Okay, so it's now the second bomb. Yeah. yeah. So I grabbed it so if he quickly gets enough. Yeah, there you go. All right. All right. Okay. Time's coming up. Suppose that could have went worse. <laughs> Wasn't good, but yeah. So the times when I got star. Time. Twenty minutes forty three seconds. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. Nice. Thank you so much for Yeah, dude, no thanks, problem. Thanks for coming, man. Hmm. Hey, Spectre Bear graphics up Odyssey, but oh wait.